Okay, hi, hello again. So, I got another question about clean line art and how you can do it. So, um, well, it's, it really depends, I suppose, on how steady your hand is and, uh, like, depending on how detailed your drawing is. So, I sort of really a couple of the sketches, one of a hand, more realism, and then this guy. I don't know. <laughs> and so really, um, so there's different ways you can go about doing like clean line art or just line art that looks nice. So uh, what you want to do, so once again this is for Fire Packer. I don't know how other programs work, but this is just how it works in Fire Packer. So, if you have trouble um, doing like for example like like this and then you keep I don't know doing that and then it's all messy different sizes or whatever um, this will help so what you want to do is you want to get your sketch layer and um, run a lot of the opacity on that so you can still see it but then you can put your liner over the top of it so we'll make a new layer. Um, and then we're gonna pick I'm gonna pick which one to do. So hmm. I'll do this one because it's more simple. So essentially they're the same. So what you wanna do is just you draw around it really. But if for example, if I do this and it looks nothing like the original, then um, a good way that can help, especially if your hand's having a bad day. There's a correction um, little uh, widget thing at the top here that you can change uh, the speed at which your pen draws. So, um, so for example, if I put on one, it helps slows it down a little bit. If I put it on 16, it's you can see the lag behind it. Yeah, so it just, it becomes a lot easier to draw. So, um, I'd recommend higher correction speeds for much more larger simpler shapes so for example uh, if I'm doing like that I I recommend it higher but when it comes to stuff like this with little little changes then a lot lower like I mean you can do it as high as you want but you don't need it as high as that so pretty much just want to try and go around it um, and you'll do a lot of that and it's okay if you break the line you don't have to do one whole line right, let me just try and like <laughs> but yeah that's what you're going to experience with line art it's just a lot of that anyway so something like that for example and if it's still not off but you, you're getting frustrated and you no longer want to do it again there's another tool in Firepacker that you can use to alter it so if you go to select and you go to mesh transform uh, essentially oh, hang on, go to mesh transform um, and you can adjust it through here so it's a lot uh, and when they first added this, I was like, oh, this is amazing, this is so good, this this means I can shape my lines without having to redraw it 5,000 times. And, you know, I can get reasonably close to it, or not even close at all, and still be able to shape it to what I want. Um, um, but the only problem with it is if you if you move a line too much, so say this line, if we move it out too much it gets distorted, so you want to keep that in mind, so really I'll use it for minor changes or just distorting the mesh a little bit um, otherwise it's quite handy for just really tiny errors that you just, you're fixated and you can't you can't, you, you and you've just given up on redrawing the line So. Um, yeah, so essentially that's it. Um, 
I don't really, I don't really have much like tips on smooth line art because I don't really do much line art, but um, or when I do, I do it mostly for cartoon-ish characters or um, just like chibi stuff or something. But um, otherwise, I don't bother with line art because. Especially for larger pieces, it's just when I'm gonna go over them and you're not gonna see them, I just forget about it, it's a waste of time. So, um, it depends on your style, but that's just my style. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I got. So, um, yeah. And, uh, uh, well, another thing, I went through this in my last tutorial about colouring, but if you want to change colour lines and stuff, uh, I noticed it was actually cut off screen, so whoops. <laughs> okay, I'll show it again now, but if you want to say turn your black lines into um, this green, then you go to protect alpha and you click it, it's just above the layers, and then so it just, it um, it stops you from drawing anywhere outside of what's already on this layer, this layer, um, and then you can go over it and you have different colour lines, and you don't have to just do solid colours, you can do like watercolour for example, um, and sort of blend it out a little bit, see like that, or you can add different colours, or whatever, put, uh, Whatever it's called, if it gradients over it, you put whatever you want over it. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. So, I hope this helps. And, yeah. Bye.